More than a dozen volunteer watershed groups were recognized for their efforts recently at the West Virginia Watershed Network's Watershed Appreciation Day. Earning top honors this year was the Greenbrier Watershed Association. The group earned a $5,000 award from a continued Dominion Foundation grant. The Greenbrier River Watershed Association is one of the oldest watershed groups in the state. Here's a profile of the group in their own words. It's so beautiful. The upper reaches are just spectacular, unspoiled headwater streams. It's amazing. It's, I mean, this area is the most biodiverse area um, on the East Coast, and we're right in the middle of it. So we're pretty spectacular. And as it gets further south, of course, you have more development but it's still just absolutely beautiful. Our river is very long. It's 176 miles long. And so in the upper regions, we were very focused on trying to get wild and scenic status for our river. And it's actually ironic because now if we'd have wild and scenic status, we would not be dealing with the threats of the pipeline. As it pertains to this project and our outreach around the Atlantic Coast Pipeline and the Mountain Valley Pipeline, as they've been proposed, basically the Atlantic Coast Pipeline would impact our headwaters in Pocahontas County, the headwaters of the Greenbrier River, and then the Mountain Valley Pipeline would actually cross the Greenbrier River in Summers County. So we see this as being an impact at both our headwaters and at a lower point in our watershed. And it's not necessarily the chemicals in the pipeline we're concerned about initially, but the construction itself. The increased sedimentation and runoff from open trenches on these steep hillsides are of deep concern to us. I think our biggest accomplishment is having a presence in each of the counties in West Virginia in particular that will be impacted by these proposed projects. And one of the goals of this project was to get ahead of it and make sure that our community members knew what was proposed, what the impacts would be, and how they could interact with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission in a way that had them participating in the process. We're really fortunate on the Greenbrier River because we have the Greenbrier River Trail and it runs right alongside the river so it's an excellent way for people to get to the river and see the river and also it's wonderful in the communities where it goes through and it's good for it's an economic benefit to the t to the towns through which it runs so um, we, we're just really lucky that we have that resource to help people get out and uh, enjoy the river. The event was hosted by the West Virginia Watershed Network, a group of state, federal, and nonprofit resource providers who work closely with the watershed groups as they help protect and restore streams and educate their communities about the importance of watershed protection.